Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us in today's hopefully very quick tips and tricks video. So today folks, what we're going to talk about is wiring diagrams. Now I know this is kind of, uh, it might be a simple thing for, for many people, but there's a lot of people who do not know how easy it is to work within x lights to get all of your wiring diagrams. So I want to make this quick video. Stay tuned. We're going to walk you through a lot of the little details with it. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. First, let's uh, get me out of the way here. We got, we got a couple larger models. Now, the smaller models, the smaller, less dense models, like... Um, like this little lollipop here. This one was like super simple. I didn't need to number anything. Uh, I kind of made it up in my head. In fact, I probably made it, uh, pushed the model first, and then went and created the model from memory, or I had it sitting here, and I just numbered it in X lights the way I wanted it, right? But that's not the case whenever you have a prop that's 550 or 500 different pixels. So what I want to do is I want to show you the quickest way to get to the wiring diagram. So the first thing is, is to select the model that you need the wiring diagram for. The second thing we're going to do is right click, right click on the model. And the, the next thing we're doing is looking at the wiring view. Now, when you're pushing a Coro prop, there's a huge distinction here. When you're pushing a Coro prop, you're always going to look at the front of the prop inside X lights, but when you look at the wiring view, click on the wiring view, it's always going to be in reverse. Now, this is where things can get very frustrating or confusing for people. So whenever you are looking at your prop, this here is your prop. This would be the back side. This is the front side, okay? And when we're pushing the pixels, we're following this wiring diagram that you're, that you're looking at over there. And you're pushing from the back side. And when you flip it around, now you're seeing it from this side. So this is rather important whenever you're pushing your models, whenever you're doing your model and your setup. So I, I understand that this, is, this isn't that complicated, but for some people, this is probably the most challenging thing that there is whenever it comes to building a model for a prop and using the reverse view. So once you understand that, once you have a good idea, then what we can do is we can come back to this model and we can kind of start to break it down. Where do we start? Well, the first place that we, the first thing, there's a couple things that you can do. So if if you're if you're like everybody else and you have only like one monitor, maybe you have two monitors, you can blow up this screen as best as possible. Now, if you have a scroll wheel on your mouse or you're using a laptop, I think you can use two fingers on the newer laptops, the older laptops, it doesn't do this. I think that scrolls in and it scrolls out. I usually don't work off of the laptop and do layout work. I usually have my, my computer running and so forth so um and uh you can scroll in using your scroll wheel on your mouse and this is what makes it nice now the other thing that you can do is you if your mouse button has a clicky on the wheel see the little click see where it clicks click 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 if you click and hold that mouse wheel button you might be able to drag uh, actually, it's not click. It's click with your left click button. Uh, you can click and drag and move the model around. Now, the closer you get in, see how the numbers shrink? You can actually see where things go. So this is what's nice. Maybe you're sitting in your living room, though, and you want to be able to, to, to not be tethered to your computer in order to do this. Maybe you don't have the room um, that, that you can have your computer in your office and push your pixels in your office, and, and they're just, it gets too, you're too claustrophobic, let's say. Um, and you want to just relax in the living room and push pixels. So what you can do is we can zoom out here, and we can go and export, and there's two exports. This is a right-click menu. So all, again, all I did, right click and I can export as a large or just export as normal. I always go with export large and when you do that 
uh, like it's gonna it's gonna pop up and it's gonna give me an output file location and it's going to create a PNG file now this is very beneficial if you watched my other video on removing backgrounds in a PNG or making a transparent background for sequencing uh, this comes in handy because we can go in and we can edit this document because guess what's gonna happen X lights is gonna export this picture at what appears to be I'm not exactly sure but what appears to be the size of the screen that you have so I have a 1920 by 1080 ratio so it's that means it's going to be wider and not as tall it's going to be scrunched and you'll see what I mean after I save this file here okay uh, so we've saved it now let's go into our folder and here it is diamond tip 42 chroma flake we'll go ahead and double click on that and what that is opening into or you can right click and you can edit with paint 3d so that's paint 3d is a wonderful program that I really 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 enjoy using oh now look at that it, it kind of cut the top off I wonder if that's a bug let me try that again let's try this again let's right click reset there we go so now you can see the top now we can go ahead and export as a large and we'll we'll do this number two so you can see the second one um, come over here here's the folder diamond chroma flake number two we're gonna right click edit with paint 3d or you can um, you can open with paint 3d that's what you want to look for and now you can notice that you can still scroll in but whenever you scroll in this is more of a picture and you can physically print this out although there's another function let's show you that that um, you can right click and change this from export as large see how it says dark mode you can make this in gray mode or you can make this into light mode and if you're going to print it I highly recommend exporting it this way as a large let's do this as number three so that way you can see the difference between one versus the other so now if we open it here it is in paint 3d and it's in that black and white as opposed to what we had earlier which was uh, this if I were doing this on screen see sometimes what I'll do is I'll I'll share this in X lights uh, in the X lights group or I'll share this in the in the Facebook groups um, because it, to me this is a little easier to uh, work with whenever I'm on the computer because that's what I use but if you want to physically print it out this might be the better way for you to do that the only problem is is look at the orientation so we're gonna go ahead and fix the orientation by clicking on the canvas button up here and then we're gonna make sure we have resize image with canvas and notice how it says 4,000 pixels wide by 2,000 pixels tall I'm going to physically change this number to the same number here 4096 and 40 that should make it a perfect square that kind of stretches it out but if we scroll in and we look you can see the numbers are stretched up high you should be able to print this out if you wanted to you could heck you could even do a little bit of you know fancy little crop editing here and you could come in here and 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 make it just a little bit more uh, neat right make it a little more square you could blow it up a little bit bigger if you need it to but that's a way for you to fix that kind of scrunched that scrunched look that you get whenever you have that first initial output so um, in in other words all I wanted to get through to you guys was that uh, it's rather easy to come into X lights every model has a uh, wiring diagram uh, it has a wiring view you can select on any of them you can you can see here these are the small like th th this is the, the small diamond flake which I have to push this one this is one that's on my list um, by all means you can come in and quickly get to the wiring diagram yourself you can go in and edit it yourself if you need to if you want to physically print it out now you probably have to tape up you know multiple sheets will print out on multiple pages and you'll have to tape it with scotch tape or whatever but hey it does the job and the idea the idea is that you're able to go ahead and switch back and forth between uh, what you need to see and what you're working on so whenever you have this in front of you you have a piece of paper over here and you're able to keep pushing uh, another hint whenever you're pushing props you know find your start location and write that down with like a little uh, marker I have um, right here on my desk I have these uh, little black sharpies they're they're awesome click 
black sharpies and you just click them and 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 it's a fine point so you just write with a fine point you don't have to write real big and i just get myself started and once with these ones i know the pattern once i get the pattern going it gets uh, rather easy to push those all all the snowflakes are rather easy in my opinion but uh but to everybody else it might be a little more challenging so just a couple tips tricks and hints for you guys today hope you enjoyed the video if you did please hit the like button if you haven't done yet so hit the red subscribe button and the bell for notifications also if you haven't done yet so and you have questions by all means join us in our ppu facebook community there's a link in the video description you should totally join us if you have questions we're happy to answer them for you and as always if you appreciate the things we do here on the ppd youtube channel consider joining the ppd sequence club where you get one brand new to the store awesome sequence each and every month if you don't like that one, we have two other ones. We call it our triple play sequence selection. You get one of three sequences, a choice of one of three sequences, and then the other two are 50% off. Consider joining the club to support us. Thank you so much for joining us, folks. We will see you in the next video.